John Henning, Deputy President, uh, Royal Ulster Agricultural Society. So here we are on the final day of Balmoral Show at 2023, where we have had a fantastic four days of activity uh, to entertain all our visitors. We had a superb uh, International Grand Prix yesterday in the arena. And we're all looking forward to the uh, Parade of Livestock again in the arena uh, this afternoon. Uh, just before the show closes when all of the uh, livestock that have been exhibited uh, throughout the week uh, come together in the one place and it really is a fantastic spectacle uh, that says a lot about the Balmer Show. Today this is Balmoral Show, the last day, and in the arena we've got a great variety of activities going on. At the moment, as you can see, we're well underway with the school show jumping competition this morning. We're about halfway through the competition. There's uh, 10 schools, each with four riders here, and they all do two rounds of jumping. One on the out on this side, where they're jumping just a straight round of jumps, and then they do a speed round on the, on the other side. And then we have team prizes for that, and we have turnout prizes, making sure that they all smarten up and come out really well presented. I'm Joe Stewart and I'm the non-executive director with the Livestock and Meat Commission. And we're the key primary sponsors of this particular class for young handlers. And we're delighted to see the way in which this class has developed over the last number of years from a mere handful of youngsters coming forward to a class of the size of 56 to 60 young people all keen in showing their sheep and taking part in this great uh, enterprise this morning. I'm also a, a council member of, of the Suffolk Sheep Society and, and I breed Texels as well, so I suppose between, if it was sheep I'd be looking for, I'd be looking for the Suffolk or the Texel, but it's the, the young people are the important thing here, not just the sheep they're holding. Agriculture is such an important part of the Northern Ireland economy, sometimes it's greatly underrated. Uh, the, the effort that's gone into producing uh, meat and, and produce for, uh, for consumers is mainly ignored in many ways. Um, and this is a great sign that there is a strong future for agriculture in Northern Ireland. You see so many of these youngsters out here this morning interested in sheep, interested in producing good food and good products uh, for the consumers in Northern Ireland. It's very heartening indeed. folks. Hi, I'm Ricky Wilson from Wilson's Auctions and uh, we're very proud again to be at Balmoral uh, in 2023 and we're, we've just actually finished watching a couple of very enjoyable games of polo that we as Wilson's Auctions sponsor. We have been coming to the show for decades now. We really enjoy the show. We find it great for business. It's great to see uh, many, many, many old and new customers. And uh, the weather's been perfect. So, so far we've had a wonderful show. We very much look forward to, to Barmoral 2024.
what we're doing here is uh, presenting classes of pigs for the children or young people to handle. And uh, we find that is a, a secret of getting the enthusiasm uh, in young people about pigs. These pigs here that are being exhibited today and shown so professionally by these young people who train very hard to perfect that, they are actually what we call traditional breed of pig. They are uh, different breeds from the normal commercial pig and they're very attractive to the general public. Okay, we're just coming up to the last two finals of the show when, uh, down at this part. Uh, the open wheel handling final is just about to start quite soon and really interesting. We've got competitors from uh, England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Norway. So it has been really international. It has been probably some of the most heats of handling wheel handling ever at the show. And then of course after that is the big one, the open chair. And that will be the top athletes. And again from New Zealand, Scotland, all over the place. They've been ensuring through the heats and semi-finals all day. And as soon as the wheel handling final is over, the big one goes. And you will see a real spectacle when that happens. It's very important, the judges. Uh, the welfare of the sheep is really important. These judges that are here, they rotate, they watch everything. The handling of the sheep, how the wool is taken off, how the sheep are handled. And it's all scored, points, anything happens at all, it's all deducted. And they've got to do a good job and a clean job. That's what we're looking for. A wonderful open wool handling final there. It's all about the presentation of wool. Three ex very experienced wool handlers. It was a real good test with seven fleeces. It was blacky fleeces. They had to be turned the opposite way. But it was a real spectacle, a great finish with three outstanding wool handlers. And it was great to see the presentation of wool being done in such a professional manner. We're looking in wool handling with super athletes in the Olympics of shearing and wool handling at the New York Battle Show 2023. Wonderful to see with a great crowd. <laughs> We're doing young handlers today just to show how we handle the goats for the young people in the, this section of Balmoral show. I won champion and um, I just am very happy how the kid behaved. Yes, the young handlers uh, is a difficult class to judge because they're, they're children. Uh, but I thought today they all handled the goats very well. Some of the goats were playing up for them, but they did very well. And uh, I would have liked to have given all, all of three of them the first prize, but you can't do that. They handled it very well.
So at the close of the 2023 Balmoral Show, we are very grateful to everyone who has come to the show this year. We're grateful to our principal sponsor, uh, Ulster Bank, our platinum sponsors, and all of the other sponsors and supporters, and also the volunteers who helped to make the Balmoral Show uh, such a success. And we look forward to doing it again in 2024 from the 15th to the 18th of May.